What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. So listen guys, uh, since it's looking more and more like Child is Coming, I talked about this a little bit before uh, in the video where I said the Child is Coming first. The reason why I think this is a, a few reasons. A, they put out a trailer. Uh, they've been putting out a trailer every seven days before the, the hero has arrived. They did one for Venti. There were seven days before Venti dropped, right? Uh, right before the game launched. There was a, a trailer seven days before with Klee. And now there's a trailer for Childs. We also did not receive a Zhongli portion. So I don't think that Zhongli is going to be next. Not only that, they just recently added Child to the main site under the character descriptions that you guys can check there. Um, if you guys want to look at it and if you guys look through there, Zhongli is not there either. So it's looking very, very probable that Child will be the first banner alongside the other heroes that were teased or leaked before um so in today's video guys i want to talk to you guys about how to build child or how i'm going to build child when i get him and then i'm also going to talk about whether or not it's going to be worth it to pull for you and some things to think about uh when looking at characters that you should pull for in the future we'll do the same thing with john lee when we get into this but since we have child's abilities leaked already we might as well talk about them now talk, talk about how this will really kind of fit into your box so without further ado guys let's go ahead and dive in now the big thing here guys with child is how i think they're going to position the banner is they're going to probably introduce new weapons is what i'm guessing if you guys didn't see the leaked images of the photos that were supposed to be paired with child this is what the banner should look like obviously including child himself as the promo banner so i'm thinking that there will be maybe some new five star weapons maybe potentially uh, or some five star weapons new that are going to rotate in of course and then it's also going to be paired with you know child so you have to choose which one you want to summon on now as we get into child's abilities uh his basic attack he just shoots up to six arrows at enemies nothing new there for his charge attack he'll shoot an arrow and he'll deal uh an effect called broken flow now with broken flow aoe hydro damage will be dealt to nearby enemies that are close to the target enemy that's hit while under the effects of broken flow. The damage is calculated though as regular attack damage. Now with this elemental skill E, um, I'm sure you guys have noticed this by now, but basically what he does is he turns into a melee attacker, right? And while doing these melee attacks, he has a combo of up to six hits that all deal hydro damage. And the charge attack instantly performs two slashes in front of him, dealing hydro damage as well and consuming stamina. Now attacking enemies that have broken flow applied to them while under the melee stance will trigger a slash effect which will also deal AoE hydro damage. Uh, it says here in this leak that the effect is also calculated as basic attack damage so of course you'll need to make sure you maximize his power. So in terms of his ultimate, whether he's ranged or in melee stance, the effects are going to be different. Um, both of them will include AoE or area of effect hydro damage. And then you'll get some extra, from what it looks like here, you'll get some extra damage when Broken Flow is applied. So it's just going to be kind of a juggling act between applying Broken Flow and then, of course, utilizing his damage in between the stances. Now, his ascension for his first ascension, when you guys ascend him from, you know, 0 to 20, increases Broken Flow duration by 8 seconds. And then for his ascension 4, it makes it to where critical hits basically apply Broken Flow so you won't need as many conditions. So increasing the crit rate on child himself is going to make your life a lot easier and in terms of his utility passive um like i talked about this in the previous video um, the big thing here is it's going to increase your normal attack talent by one so for those of you guys who have gotten your attack talents to like level 10 11 12 uh, this is going to increase your damage pretty significantly uh, depending on the character that you're using now when i look at child and we look at this build and how he's set up I think he's set up in a way that because of your positioning around the crit and your positioning consistently around kind of stance dancing and deciding whether or not you're going to use ranged and or melee, um, Child I think is positioned as a primary DPS. So what seems like it may not be that cool on paper or may not pack a punch on paper, I feel like Child's multipliers are going to end up being pretty high. So with that, I'm looking to build this particular character in a way that's going to maximize damage. So I myself am looking at like a Wanderer's Troop for increased charge attack damage, like if I'm farming open world bosses, or I'm looking at something like a Royal Set for the Noblest Ob Oblige bonus, or maybe a mix between the two if I'm looking specifically at five-star gear. 
In terms of my peeps that are out there thinking about four star equipment, you know, I think that personally, if I was just gonna run four star, I might even rock with like a sacrificial bow uh, just so I can e spam. Um, or I'd go with Rust if you guys are trying to maximize this basic attack damage. In terms of gear sets pre 40, I'm thinking I'd probably rock with like an Exiles or an Instructors if I was trying to finalize on combo damage. Or if you're just going for a raw crit build pre 40, Berserker for sure. Now, if you guys are trying to get creative, Maybe Gambler plus Sacrificial, again, just to spam the E, but those are primarily the sets that I'd be looking for, uh, depending on what it is that you guys want to do. Again, Energy Recharge, I definitely go for Exiles. Instructor Set, definitely for Elemental Mastery builds. And then, of course, Crit for Berserker. And then, potentially even mix sets, like if you guys are going to be running glad like a 2 Gladiator, 2 Wanderers Troop, stuff like that beforehand. Due to the fact that we don't really have a Hydro Bonus Damage set just yet, because if that does get introduced, then obviously I will do that. But in terms of optimal builds, I'd be looking to put like a Hydro Bonus Damage Cup on them, uh, paired with like an Attack Percent, an Attack Percent, uh, like an Attack Percent Helmet, and an Attack Percent... Uh, hourglass or I'd be looking for an attack percent hourglass attack percent cup and then maybe a crit damage helmet if I can get his crit rate high enough I think crit rate is going to be a really really big focus for child because of the fact that he's going to rely on keeping that broken flow present and I think this is going to pair really really well with heroes that can create the vaporize effect so Deluke Klee, Bennett, you could even potentially look at running a double hydro comp if you want to run like child Mona for the ultimate damage increase chain into child and or a Deluke like so let's say you ran like Mona and then into Deluke, Deluke vaporized right now you have the fire effect present and then you can chain into child and do the same thing you could also potentially put child with ice heroes I think would be also really fun if you guys are looking more for like shatter damage or if you wanted to do like a water ice fire combo then you can chain pretty much everything I think Child is going to be really strong with pretty much any hero you can pair him with, whether they're going to be Electro, Pyro, Ryo, anything. And I think he's going to fit really, really well uh, just due to the fact that you have the option of being ranged and or melee. So in terms of optimal stats, I think at first glance for Child, I think Elemental Mastery is going to be important if you're going to be using him for a primary DPS as a finish. I wouldn't necessarily say that I'd go for Elemental Mastery like on a main stat for a piece of gear, but definitely through the substats obviously crit rate and crit damage just because crit is such an important part of his kit and then of course maximizing his attack power we're gonna have to wait and see what his base stats are going to be but i'm just going to assume that he's gonna have a higher base attack and lower defensive stats because he seems like he's positioned in the way to get in and deal a ton of damage and get out now i want to send a special shout out uh to my buddy zeke and my buddy heaven uh for translating this photograph for me this was this had showed up when we had found this photograph where they had showed the constellations of child uh most of which i was most concerned with his c4 and his c6 now on his c4 it said something source constellation 4 so it's basically saying that every four seconds like while you're in your melee stance you'll get basically an extra attack on an enemy who's under broken flow um, i don't know what this is going to look like um, i don't know if this is actually going to apply um, to the actual uh, range mode or not but it kind of seems like they want you to focus more on dancing on into the melee mode and that's kind of where child specialty lies so think of them kind of like a melee mage so to speak now things get really really crazy though when we get into a sixth constellation i know this is crazy y'all be like d what the hell we ain't gonna get no sixth constellation but just in case for my peeps out there that are watching this video that are planning to go for a sixth constellation child i think you guys would be happy to know that when he uses his ultimate uh once you get a six cons it basically instantly resets the cooldown on his E. So if you guys are looking to build child with a lot of energy recharge or energy recharge subs, depending on what his cooldown is going to be and all that stuff, um, you might be able to make it in a way that it's almost permanent utilizing his E, right? So basically you'll pop your E, bum, 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 hit your ult, regenerate your energy because on the skills his ultimate regenerates some energy, right? And then think of it kind of like venti and then after you pop that ult your it resets your cooldown on your e you go back into your e back into dps basically so you never get out of the water damage state i think this could be very very useful for wave clear and clearing enemies but we're gonna have to see how wide of a hitbox we have um outside of just obviously seeing that seeing it on the screen or in the video like i said i think that child has potential to deal a ton of damage i would say that if you guys like child in terms of summoning form go for it like if you guys are looking for hydro damage 
uh, type character that can pretty much go well with anybody in your team comp, I'd say go for it. Because let's say you guys aren't personally fans of Sing Chu or you guys aren't fans of Mona. <laughs> Who knows why? Uh, Child definitely could be a, a, a hero that can supplement your kit. If you guys like Child and you guys are on a limited budget, I will wait till you see the other reviews from content creators and you can see Child in action, how much damage he can deal, not deal, so on and so forth before you make your decision because you have three weeks. And if you guys are just not into Child, but you guys are in a situation where you feel like you just should summon him because just for the hell of it, I would say probably just wait for Zhang Li if that's you know your prerogative. Do keep in mind, however, that there probably will be future content that Child is needed if they're going to place more of an emphasis on water heroes. Because uh, currently right now, fire heroes seem to be holding all the cake right now. Uh, but that could definitely, definitely change with future content that does arrive in the game. I will do a showcase with Child, both Zero Constellation and Full Constellation, um, when it all comes out and all that stuff. And you guys can definitely expect that from me in the future. Uh, so be ready for that. But until then, uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I know a lot of you guys are really, really uh, anxious for the 1.1 update just to do more content and to get, you know, more of a feel and get your hands or get more of a stake in the game and, of course, whether or not you're going to summon for a child. So with that being said, guys, that concludes the video for today. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.